what is going on everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be doing my hundred thousand mile update on my car right here the ford fusion more specifically 2013 ford fusion so without further ado let's get into it All right, guys, so I'm gonna break this up into two parts, which is gonna be the interior and exterior and how everything held up, what I have done, and what this car has cost me throughout my few years of ownership. Uh, to begin, I pretty much bought this car used. I bought it with about 30,000 miles uh, from the Ford dealership. Uh, I think back in 2017 and had this car up to now and it's been pretty good not too many problems uh had a pretty serious problem recently i just got the car back but we're gonna get into that soon so car has about a hundred thousand miles on it uh give it a little bit extra we're actually gonna take a look right now you guys can see right there's a 100 328,000 miles so pretty high but to today's standards not bad for a 2013 car so just to recap everything that i have done so far to the car headlights leds tail lights um leds i'm gonna take you back there and show you those i also have the fogs right down there where which is also LEDs upgraded the wheels so now we have 19 inch titanium wheels instead of the 18s that it came with also did the red calipers uh, switched out the lug nuts for these I believe they're mcguard uh, because the OEM ones have a tendency to swell a little bit uh, Throughout my ownership, I probably went through, I think, three sets of tires, which, in my opinion, isn't too bad. Uh, also, tints. Uh, these went on after I bought the car. Haven't had a problem since. I got a new windshield about a month and a half, two months back, due to a trip I made down to Tampa and um, a rock hit in it. So... I wouldn't really count that as anything significant. Insurance covered that, so I am all set on that. Coming around to the back, upgraded the tail lights initially to those Porsche style tail lights, which I then replaced with these, which are the titanium ones. Uh, video on all of these are up on the channel, so you guys can actually go take a look at that. Uh, plastic on the car. Again, a little white, but none too major. Nice little Ford Performance license plate. Uh, Replace that little antenna there with that, with the shark fin. Prefer that a lot more. I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that actually body color because initially I wanted to do the roof black, but I don't think I'll go ahead and get that done either. It didn't cost me a lot at all because I had to, uh, due to an accident that I've had, I had to replace the AC um, compressor and the clutch, I think that's what they call it, and that ran me a few thousand dollars, but that was because of the accident, so if it wasn't for the accident, I'm pretty sure that would still be going right now, so I wouldn't count that as a problem of the car, but most recently, I did have a issue with a battery monitor basically uh a wrench light came on you guys heard me talk about that in the vlog if you haven't go ahead and check that out and i give you guys a little more information on that in the vlog but uh it turned out to be a computer that monitors the battery and basically that just failed and it threw up a bunch of errors so i had to go ahead and order that in and that cost me a whopping twelve hundred dollars so, I mean, that was probably the biggest bill that I put on something that wasn't necessarily my fault. But for regular maintenance on the car, 
I went through, I changed out all the brakes, uh, pads, and rotors probably twice. So that is not bad. Wheels um, three times, three new sets of tires, and just regular oil change. I did went ahead and do a transmission flush around, I think, 70,000 miles or 60,000 miles um, with my uncle. So that was all good to go so no problems on that everything else is pretty much kept up to par um all the filters and everything rk and then uh reusable filters i just take them out ever so often clean it and then put it back in coming around to the inside of the car it is not looking too bad i've done led lights on the footwells and then I upgraded the centerpiece to sink three and then updated the face. Uh, this shifter, I have a cover on here and pretty much that is because this uh, material that they use for the shifter started melting in the Florida sun. So I needed something to cover that up. Uh, seats are wearing okay. They're not great. Uh, the driver's seat is worse, but um, no holes, no like significant cracks you guys can see a little bit right here um i try to condition them to where it's not too too bad but florida sun pretty much beats the heck out of it you guys can actually see the pass um the driver's seat sorry here and a little worse and then this is probably the worst part so at some point i want to get the seats reupholstered but um as to when i am not 100 percent sure on that but some other stuff that i did on the interior a uh, little carbon fiber pieces uh, placed right here. Um, upgraded the paddles, so now you have those little aluminum metal looking uh, paddles instead of the black plastic that it usually comes with. Uh, other stuff in the car that I've done is of course the tint on the windshield, which I would highly recommend since uh, the dashboard uh, on our previous one tended to uh, build little bubbles or something from the heat. So I did that because it helps. Coming around to the back of the car, the back here, please, sorry for the mess, don't worry, but that just a jacket in the game. Um, the back doesn't get much usage, so um, it actually is very clean. Seats are almost brand new and no problems there. Uh, so coming on the interior, the dry quality, everything like that, the car is pretty good. I had no problems with it. Now I have gotten a few rattle noise coming from different sections of the car. Um, also, I swapped out the speakers because uh, the passenger side right down there decided it wanted to just blow and I think the tweeters now are acting up a little bit so I might have to change that at some point. Um, other than that, it's not too bad. I just get a rattle ever so often, um, usually in this section. Also, I do get a rattle up here in this uh, sun uh, sunglasses holder, sorry. And then what I did to help that is, if you guys can see right up there, if I push you in, there is a um, piece of cloth in there. And basically that just helps to uh, reduce the shaking or rattling, whatever is happening up there. Um, that is pretty much it. This car has been pretty bulletproof for me. I haven't had any significant problems with it. I just did the 100,000 mile service, which was basically for me just the oil change because everything else I pretty much have done. I actually keep a note on my phone where I log everything that I've done on my own or I've had the dealership done that was significant and then I have the mileage and the dates so like helps me keep track uh, when they went over the entire car they didn't even find any problems with it uh, other than a small leak coming from uh, one of the the bearings in the wheel uh, so I'm gonna have to get a look 
at that and see what is going on with that and then that light the wrench light came on literally a few days after i picked the car back up so we are ordering that part it's on back order so it takes about like a month and a half they said to for that part to come in and we'll get that installed and that should sort the light out right now the light is not actually on so fingers crossed they said that you can still drive it and everything just to be a little cautious so um, I'm not gonna be doing anything too too crazy. Not that I do anyway. Also another thing that I did to the car on my own was the spark plugs. I went ahead and changed out the spark plugs um, recently so that is all solid. I actually went through two batteries on this car. Um, I think the first one was just kind of weak. I bought it with it and then I got it exchanged through the warranty and then a few months ago I had to buy another one. So uh, they said everything was good. I needed a new terminal because the terminal was messed up. So I needed a new battery and then a terminal. But that's about it. The, I wouldn't really count that as the car's fault. I think that was just normal wear and tear. So I'm not going to cater that into the entire uh, issues or cost of the car. That so to really sum it up, this car has been really good to me with the exception of the problems I created for myself through the accident that I've had and then just messing around with the car and the braking stuff. Uh, it pretty much only cost me, I want to say roughly the $1,200 that I'm spending right now to get that computer fixed because other than that, this car, I don't recall anything else coming up out of the blue that wasn't uh self-inflicted or uh that i've broken on my own anyway guys that is it for this hundred thousand mile update on the car it's been really really good to me i haven't had any significant problems aside from the one i'm going through right now and that we're getting that sorted as we speak the car still runs great drives great behaves great it still treats me great and it is paid off and it still looks like a freaking good car when you look at it compared to a lot of other cars this car coming out in 2013 it still looks like a modern day car just with the front end and the few tasteful mods that i've done to it nothing too crazy i did a lot more which i've taken off over time uh recently i took off that little deflector that i had on the front right there um so now we are back to a nice clean front end with my um, aftermarket headlights which add a nice dark appearance to it and match the fogs uh, pretty nicely and then the, the wheels and everything like that by the way I'm in the market for some new wheels um, I don't know if you guys are aware but there is a uh, something called a snowflake wheel that came on the 2013 through 2014 Ford Fusion it is a 19 inch wheel uh, I think it goes by Y spoke so I am very interested in buying a set if anyone knows anybody or you have a set of OEM finished wheels like that, do hit my comment section or DM me and let me know I am interested in buying a set of those for the whips everything that i've done to the car is on my youtube channel so if you guys want to see more information tail lights um the headlights i didn't do but i did a review of it uh go ahead and check out my youtube page uh so you can get a little more information if that's what you guys are looking for but without further ado guys that is gonna be it for this video if you have any questions regarding this car and my ownership experience with it go down in the comment section or you can also dm me on my social media um if there's anything that i've missed out um i will include down in the comment section but i think i got pretty much all of it this car is great if you're in the market looking for one i would highly recommend you get it this one is a 2.5 uh and a so it's not the ecoboost model i heard some good and bad things with all of the models but so far this car isn't too bad transmission is a little lacking but overall it is a very good car anyway thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one